Meaningful involvement of communities is critical. Um, I think it's really important that um, communities get the necessary resources to make sure that um, all different populations within the community or cohorts that are affected by TB sit at the table and are able to actually synthesize and, and, and come up with concrete issues that they want to see um, that supports ending TB. For TB treatment and uh, very high level uh, stay in, uh, stigma and discrimination about uh, TB patients who uh, homeless people, uh, people living HIV, drug users, people, ex-prisoners, people. When tuberculosis arrives in your life, doesn't mention your nationality, age, skin color. We've seen a lot of responses when it comes to, for instance, um, ex-minors now getting um, a bit of better support as well as, you know, other key populations such as men, but we're not seeing that happening when it comes to gender and human rights. We really want our leaders to be strong and to actually start promoting rights-based approaches to tuberculosis, ensuring that they're offering comprehensive policies and packages to treatment. Please, let us make sure that we are providing people with psychosocial support we're providing people with legal assistance when rights are violated. And we'd see a lot of women being saved and we'd see the future generations have a TB-free future.